I started making videos on YouTube around 2012, but I wasn't really active until around 2016, which correlates to the time I came home from my studies abroad. I remember my mom asking me what I want to be or what I want to do when I come home back then. I told her that I wanted to be an artist. Not a celebrity per se, but an artist. Uh, someone whose main line of work is creating or performing art. As a kid, I always knew that I wanted to be an artist, one way or another. Um, I thought that if I could make a living out of drawing and making whatever I want, I would accept it in a heartbeat. And I think it's the charm that there's a line of work out there for people who just want to be free in creating whatever they want and get rewarded for their effort. If you ask me, what is artistic freedom? I would probably point at a kindergartner drawing creatures or scenery with the color pink and purple. A kid making a drawing out of their own free will would never feel bad at whatever they're making. They take great pride in their work. Unlike us adults, where we would beat ourselves for not being able to draw a hand. A child would never feel bad for putting whatever color they want as a sky. And I think that's artistic freedom in its purest form. As an adult, we have quite a different idea to what artistic freedom is. It could be that we have unlimited resources to create whatever we want without having to worry financially. It could also be that we have unlimited freedom to create whatever we want, free from any censorship by any other entities other than the artists themselves. In this day and age where private companies own our social networking platforms, creators with advertiser-friendly content are rewarded better than creators from the other end of the spectrum. Back in 2016, when my WTF Indonesia project finally took off and you know, took some attention from the general internet public, I got to experience firsthand how creators and artists can make a trade-off between their artistic freedom and financial freedom. I had to make a decision whether I want to keep the content of my videos as explicit as possible or if I was willing to restrain myself and by extension uh, my freedom to express whatever I want. These series of experiences have brought me the question of whether it's possible to have total freedom as an artist today. To which I would say, yes, absolutely. <laughs> but is it going to be easy? Um, probably not. So should artists be given total freedom to express their creativity? Well, in a perfect world, I think everyone should be able to express whatever's running on their mind without jeopardizing the freedom of others. But this isn't a perfect world. However, artists are inherently creative. Uh, what I mean by this is artists would always find a way to express themselves despite all and any limitations or restrictions put upon them. To top it off, I do feel that artists have gained so much power these days. With the fast growth of the online ecosystem, artists can benefit from the media that now enables them to spread their ideas to a much larger audience at the fraction of the time and cost needed conventionally. I don't know if you noticed this, but artistic ex expression is one of the earliest inventions of humanity. Even before any civilization was established, 
cave paintings found all over the world have shown that our ability to express ourselves by artistic means has been around since the earliest time of our ancestors. And being an artist myself, I do feel that we have our part in society by responding and shaping the culture as we see fit. Because what we do for a living is quite literally a response to what we digest and experience from the world around us. The works we created are both universal and personal expressions at the same time. The art that we created may not always be pretty, but it's okay because that's part of the beauty. Culture, as we know it, is born from social behaviors, uh, norms, knowledge, beliefs, and arts coming from individuals of a particular group. They usually come from the same country or nationality. So now what? I mean, we all know that arts enriched our culture and civilization since the dawn of time. What difference does it make now that it's all digital? Thinking of this idea as a digital artist makes me realize that the internet has grown and become an important part of many individuals. And even if it's hard to see it, the internet itself has its own culture where we can transcend beyond borders and generations to share our ideas and accelerate their spread even further. I think digital artwork is turning art as we know it into one of humanity's greatest tools of this age. Looking at the big picture, I think digital art is still in its earliest years. The ways we can share ideas with one another will only improve in the near future. Most people may think that uh, virtual reality or mixed reality is the cutting edge technology in this digital art world. And they're not wrong. But here's the thing. Decentralized programmable art is just one of many exciting projects that is currently in development and being adopted by digital artists all around the globe. And all these tools and interactions that allows artists to further express themselves through the creation of digital art will only push our society forward. Interactive arts, such as video games, have shown that we are no longer limited to just letters in a book or scenes in a motion picture to express and to understand complex ideas. And in the near future, the only limit would be our own imagination. There's this question that haunts me from time to time. Is it better to be a jack of all trades, a master of none, or to master just one thing for your entire life. Honestly, I wouldn't know which one would be the best for me or for you, but I know for sure that I wouldn't limit myself to just doing one thing for my entire lifetime. Although I have been working on the digital realm with digital files, I am always excited about the possibilities of new technology. I never want to be afraid of new tools, even when some people uh, deemed it too dangerous to exist, such as artificial intelligence and deep fakes. And I'm going to come clean that, you know, not everything I created is perfect or done well. But as Bob Ross said, we don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. And that's where I think the total freedom as an artist lies in this day and age.